All right, hello Aries. Welcome to your full moon in Sagittarius energy. I hope you're doing well. I'm sending you some good vibes. So today we're gonna look into love reading for you, okay? For my singles or those who are in connections already. Uh, I just did Leo reading and that was spicy. <laughs> Especially for people who are already in union, which that was pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, there's going to be an extended in the description below if you're interested. It's for the whole year, okay? Also, if you'd like to join us in Patreon, uh, there I put all the extendeds for this channel there. So if you'd like to ah, join us there, you're more than welcome. Thank you so much, guys, for your like, comments, and share, subscribes. Make sure you like this video so other areas as you are all able to find this video, okay? It does help us a lot around here, okay? Um, let's see. What's your energy, Aries? Express your love. Baby, come back. I don't know why I have that heard that, but it's a channel song. <laughs> Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Okay, so there's these two that wanted to come out. Oh. So someone from your past life or past life relationship, someone that you had a history in a past life, okay? If you believe in that stuff, all right. Um, you have known each other before, okay? So this feels like twin flame energy, high level soulmate energy, okay? But it says love yourself first, okay? So even if you have a past life with this person or whatever, make sure that you're loving yourself, that you're respecting yourself, that you're letting this person know that they have to, the, you know, respect you okay and also you know you know what you deserve right and uh, you're not tolerating or accepting anything other than you know love okay and respect and mutual respect and reciprocity here okay so it says keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations okay ah oh, lots of passion Okay, so Sphere says this is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life, okay? So let's see what's going on. Let's see what the moon wants to let you know, actually, before I forget. I did forget for, I think it was Libra. Sorry, Libra. But let's see. What the moon wants to tell you. adjustments that require okay so someone wants to they're planning this okay so if you're in a separation or no contact aries this is what they're doing okay others of you if you're in a connection already this person needs to be more like they need to show more romantic gestures or something like that so like i said to leo there needs to be more communication okay you need to communicate this <laughs> Communicate what you want, what you need. Especially if you're a divine feminine. Men are, are uh, they're brute, okay? Bruto. Bruto, yes. The, you got to tell them what to do. <laughs> like they don't read your mind, okay? You need to express yourself. You need to communicate yourself. You want this person to express more love to you, then you need to communicate. You, you need to tell them, adjustment I require here, okay? This is someone that you maybe... You did have a past life where you're together with this person, okay? All this of you, this person wants to communicate that they want to show more love towards you. They want to express themselves to you, okay? But it's something about loving yourself first. Like, you need to... Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So what is it that you're not self-respecting yourself that you need to fix? Ah, Aries got you there, huh? okay whatever it is that you're not respecting yourself right now that needs to be worked on okay because i feel like this person is not going to express themselves if there's something that you're doing that is just not attractive okay like they find you attractive yes they they have you know feelings toward you but are you in your highest vibration right now or are you acting out of your lower shadow self? There's a lot of shadow work that needs to be worked on here, okay? Exactly, what you need to release. There's something, a limited belief or maybe something that you do, time, take time to breathe out, okay? There's something that you do. Yeah, new moon in Sagittarius. This is a Sagittarius energy. Luck is on your side, okay? 
All right, so what else do I need to know about this, Spirit? Yeah, show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. Okay. So maybe it's this person that needs to like respect themselves. Okay. Love yourself first. There's something about you loving yourself that is like really, you know, or this person needs to love themselves. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe they're keeping their maybe they're thinking that you're not their person or something like that because maybe you're you're different or something like that or but it's like they want to express this love but it's like they're doing something that it's not they know that they need to adjust something okay maybe they like to isolate themselves a lot maybe they know they need to heal something like after they heal they need to like put themselves out there yeah they're healing some type of family issues yeah your love life benefit as you forgive your parents. So some of you, this could be you too, or maybe you both. Uh, oh, that sucks. So it says unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So a lot of you is like, this is what is blocking this. Like maybe this is someone stuck uh, on unrequited love or someone that it's not reciprocal or something like that. But I feel like you know this though. Because there's a lot of attraction between you and this person. But this person needs to learn. They need to see this for themselves, okay? You can't help this person. Exactly, yeah. It's time to take action. They know this, okay? Because they're probably stuck in something that has happened in the past. Which is why they attract this kind of energy where it's not reciprocal, okay? <clears throat> so they act on their lower selves. Yeah, conclusion are within reach, okay? Okay, very interesting, Aries. Yeah, for now, just work on yourself. Continue working, whatever it is that you're doing, okay? Because it is helping this person see things from different... Yeah, exactly. They see you as a wish fulfillment and moving away from what no longer serves them. So this could be singles who I'm speaking to. All right, Spirit, let's see what's happening with my Aries energy. Five of Pentacles. Ah, this energy keep popping out a lot. Yeah, this person feels burning. I feel like they have abandoned this connection <laughs> and they feel like shit. <laughs> okay, they want to express this love. They know they need to adjust something. They know they have a, a soul, soul bond with you from a past life, okay? They know that they have to love themselves first before they come towards you, okay? But also they need to heal something, okay? Maybe they were wearing a mask in the past or... They like to wear masks, they like superficial and fake stuff, fake relationship, fake things, you know, and this is something that they need to work on, that they know that they need to work on. They also need to know that, <clears throat> that you're not down for that. I feel like you're not down for what this person has been used to, right? Maybe open relationship, maybe it's polygamy, maybe it's uh, why not stand and stuff like that, and you're not like that. You're like, no, and they know this, okay? So it, it makes it more uh, attractive to you even more because you love yourself, you you have, and also that too is like, you respect yourself, you have integrity, you know? And I feel like this person, yeah, it burns them out, this communication, because they see you as a wifey material, okay? <laughs> wifey material. <laughs> and the justice card, they see you as a good karma. You're the good karma, yeah. Ace of Swords, make it, make it, I'm telling you, but this person is heartbroken. Oh, they know they broke your heart. They did something and the tables have turned, okay? They did something in secret, which is end this connection. And I feel like also they did something, could be ghosting you or abandoned the, this connection. They self-sabotage, okay? But the five of swords is, a, is an energy of like winning at all costs or, I don't know, there's something about their ego. They were fighting their ego, okay? So this is something that they're healing. They're ending this situation. I feel like also they're ending this one-sided uh, relationship they were accustomed to. I feel like this person is used to this. They're used to the love bombing. They're used to the, you know, the fast pace, the getting in and getting out, you know, that kind of thing, okay? And this is, has been illuminated to them about this energy that they are on, right? The sun car, Leo. <laughs> so some of you Aries, you're dealing with a Leo, okay? 
definitely that energy is for someone who's already in a committed relationship but like i feel like you could be dealing with a leo not necessarily but i feel like with the five of pentacles i, I feel like this person feels left out in the cold and they don't want to be there anymore yeah they want to they want redemption okay they want this stability they want this union with you okay they're taking action exactly look your higher self is coming in <laughs> aries okay letting you know and some of you you could be the divine masculine who i'm speaking here you could have left this person in the cold or something like that spirit saying express your love okay get out of this energy okay a lot of you, you're abandoned. A lot of things that no longer serve you, that's good. This is the adjustment that you needed to do, okay? Uh, express this energy of that you need to let go or someone that you need to let go, you need to left out in the cold with love, okay? Send them love and peace and love and don't hold any resentment or anything towards them. But I'm speaking with a divine masculine here, higher self coming in. Uh, what is it with the masculine higher selves coming in i also maybe you have pisces in your chart there's a higher uh self pisces that came in my readings too a lot of you are waiting okay you're watching this person maybe celebrating and stuff like that but you have a lot of love okay you're watching this person also this could be same-sex relationship doesn't have to be but i'm also seeing that here too okay a lot of love here okay you guys are going to be celebrating this king of cups is holding their their energy especially when they see that this ten of cups this is emotional fulfillment is happily ever after okay for a lot of you this might be like too slow or some of you might be too late or something like that but it's not this is divinely ordained the page of pentacles i feel like this person have to go through something uh they were judged in the past or something had to happen something that they planned to do but i feel like maybe juggle you okay but they did they juggled this blessing okay because of their fears it was their fears their unconscious uh thoughts behavior actions habits also they weren't listening to their intuition okay about this communication so this is what they want to come in and apologize with the eight of pentacles they want to work with you um they see you working really hard as well they see you someone like I don't know you're progressing you're advancing on something yeah you're walking away from this yeah flighty energy uh player energy you're not down for that anybody who has negativity or angry or something like that anybody from your past you're yeah you're defending yourself you're cutting these people off beautiful energy aries yeah i feel like you're no longer stuck okay uh, with about this cycle ending about i don't know i feel like some of you you're feeling like it's kind of like slow and steady but also that too is like the hangman talks about like you know waiting uh like standing still kind of thing but also it's like i feel like the more this person takes longer to approach you the more this cycle is gonna be over okay or they need to end some type of cycle okay something that is it's meant to change like there's something that is gonna change this connection this situation for the better okay because they have to close something in order for this reconciliation for this union also they see you're very peaceful very loving you're very strong okay that's beautiful and you're healing something okay that's good news maybe some of you are healing this maybe rejection energy or but there's someone watching you as well they want to offer you this love hmm that's a lot aries okay so let's see what else do they need to know spirit i just went on a yeah but your story is kind of like a book like, you know it's like a love story you know it's like a soap opera novella you know in spanish novella you know but i see that here a lot like this person is like i, I don't think they thought that you weren't the one for them or like yeah, because they were acting kind of cold towards you, but with other people, they were like open and like flirty and like, oh, you know, but it's like a tactic that backfire because I feel like they were doing that maybe to make you feel jealous or make you feel some type of way or make you feel like, oh, they're not interested in you. They're, you know what I'm saying? But that's backfire because this person is very, very interested in you. I can't make this up. This is the lucky card. You bring out your, you're the good karma yeah that's the past life relationship you guys pay your karmic debt in a past life okay 
So right now, what you guys need to heal is this lack mentality, is this poverty mindset, okay? Yeah, I'm seeing that. Yeah, this person wants to take this leap of faith, okay? Page of Wands, they want to send this message. Yeah, and Spirit said, yes, go ahead. The Six of Wands, victory and success, okay? This is your Empress, damn. Yeah, this person can stop dreaming about you. So some of you could be like, maybe you're, one of you is... Like there's a different in maybe religion or color or like, I don't know, like ethnicities, ethnicities, ethnicity. <laughs> like, you know, your empress might be like a divine feminine that is like of color and you might be white or whatever, brown, whatever color, it doesn't matter. Don't let that stop you for real. Express what you love. Like that's it. That's what it says. Your soulmate might be different from your usual type and expectations. A lot of you, you thought that you could find this energy and somewhere else, right? With the Seven of Cups here, you kept your options open, but now you're feeling like that was the foolish mistake because not only this person took away their energy, they, they just weren't interested in, in you in that sense, especially when you're in that low vibration looking for other uh, things to satisfy your ego, right? Satisfy your pride and ego, right? So this person wasn't falling for that. Also, they were, you were playing games, okay? So, or some of you, if you're a divine feminine watching this, they are playing a lot of games. You're not down for that, which is good. You took your energy back. You're like, okay, you want to be like that? I'm just going to leave you do it. Do your foolish thing and stuff like that. And I'm just going to move forward with my new beginning and just taking a leap of faith with myself and self-care, self-loving myself, you know, um, you decided to focus on your creativity, maybe things that you want to invest, maybe you were keeping your options open too, you were like, okay, I have other options, you know what I'm saying, and this person drove them crazy, this is why they're taking action, six of wands, you have a lot of victory and success in your charts for you, okay, uh, empress, could be dealing with a Taurus, The star, yeah. Oof, someone see you as a wish fulfillment. This is someone wishing on a star. This is someone who wants to heal this heartbreak. They, may, I feel like this person wants to heal your heart, but the thing is, you already did. If I'm speaking with a divine feminine here, you already did. This is why for you, this is like, okay, show me what you got now. Like, yeah, that's what it is. Like, this person has to get your trust back they got to yeah be open communicate they have to adjust something that they've done in the past that you know that you're aware that you're like no i'm not if you're not come straight don't come to me at all that's why you you left this person in the cold now this person if i'm talking to a divine masculine here which I, obviously your higher self is speaking to you you know what you need to let go of right you know that you have to go through some type of karma as well. This is what, or you went through it, some financial setback or something like that. Spirit said to focus on your creativity. Uh, you know, some of you, this person could be younger than you or you are younger than them. It doesn't matter, okay? Uh, others of you, I, I see it like you are meant to take this leap of faith, but again, always talk to God first. Go to confirm with him. What is it that you need to be doing? How you can approach this, okay? The star energy, you both are he are meant to be healing each other, working with each other. There's victory and success here, okay? But a lot of you, it's like you feel like you broke this person's heart, right? But you want this union now, this commitment. But the thing is that right now, in order for you to access this empress who have worked a lot, who have done a lot of shadow work and work on themselves, they have healed abandonment issues, you have to reach the most high in order to do this. This apology... This heartbreak is now you're the one heartbroken, right? Um, and some of you, you didn't intentionally maliciously try to hurt them. It's just you decided to, you know, like you wanted to keep your options open. You wanted to experiment, but you were very attracted to this person, right? Like a uh, very attractive, like you still see this person as you wish for film. And also this person is glowing the fuck up, right? So you're like super like, oh my God. You feel very foolish, right? Because the table has absolutely have turned. You try to replicate this energy, you couldn't because the Empress is unique. This person, it's like you will never find this energy. Okay, Aries? It's just what it is. So if I'm talking to a cross washer that you want to see about your Aries person, I'm sorry to tell you, but you have to reach God before you reach this person. Okay? Because this person heals. Some of you, your heart chakra is closed. Okay? 
you can literally feel this person in your heart okay because you guys are very connected there's a contract here and it's meant to be with the wheel of fortune here but some of some of you you need to break this communication okay if you are the one yeah the answer you need are common full moon and gemini gemini energy this is the gemini we're in gemini season now yeah so it's like gemini energy lovers you know there's something that you need to sacrifice for this love you know what that is okay Maybe it's your pride and ego and apologize to your person, the person that you're actually in love with, that you want this commitment, you want this union, okay? But watch out. Don't trust anybody about this situation because there's a lot of people jealous and envious. There's some type, or this could be you, like, internally, like, you know, like, a lot of conflict because you want to collaborate with this person who is very attractive, Yes, you want redemption now. You want union. You want this is a twin flame energy as well. Woo, this twin flames, my god. Four swords. Which is spell? Okay, the five of swords. Okay, so it goes from the four of swords to the five four of swords to the five of swords. So someone is healing something. I feel like this is self-sabotage, right? This is self-sabotage. Maybe having jealous, envious of your person. Maybe if they're more accomplished than you, you feel some type of way. You shouldn't feel that way. Okay, if anything, this is something, an addiction that can happen to you. So work on something that you need to work on, okay? There's a healing energy that needs to be happening here, okay? Also, uh, put something to rest. This envious, jealous uh, friends, family, toxic, people that are just like benefiting from you financially, if you're financially stable or something like that. Or these are people who are, yeah, who are constantly trying to block this you or block this union, okay? You from being loyal and faithful to your person. This is driving these people crazy, okay? Also, they're projecting a lot of fear towards you because you're single, so sufficient, uh, stable. Yeah, this is also you're holding your sexual back your sex back so you're not exchanging your sex with anybody so this is driving maybe some karmics crazy that you don't want to have sex with them that you don't want to yeah because you're actually saving yourself for your actual empress or the person that you want to be with also you need to communicate this okay i feel like your empress feels that you're in that player energy like you're fucking around and stuff like that but you're not right yeah so aries i'm talking to a divine mask in here this is why communication is important okay because there's assumptions and things that your empress thinking yeah they're single right now some of you you're single you're thinking uh, that this person yeah they're the wounded warrior now and they're focused on their work right now walking away from no longer serve them okay so a lot of you, there needs to be some reciprocity here, okay? This connection is protected by the divine, okay? And what I'm saying is that continue working on your pentacles. Uh, you're, you're very loyal and faithful, so don't let this fear stop you, okay? This could be also ego. You could be fighting with your ego right now, okay? So that's what I have for you, Aries. Let's see <laughs> your angel number. Beautiful energy. A lot of love you hold for this person. You see this person very strong, very courageous. A lot of you, you're, you're working on this, getting your courage back to talk to this person because you see them saying you're so sufficient. They could be celibate just like you or or holding their sexual energy back and creating. The Empress, is, Empress is a creative person, okay? Someone very um, nurturing and loving and very intuitive. They've been through a lot, okay? So... This is someone who literally learned how to heal themselves as well, okay? Yeah, again, 777, protected, okay? Whew, 13, energy, I'm confident, okay? So it says 777, your purpose flows from within you and everything that is unfolding or being revealed to you is part of your purpose. A state of peace and calmness in your soul, in your soul, I am the flow, okay? 13, you are con con wow that's an interesting word you are conscientious worker with a knack for coming up with creative ideas and turning them into something real an optimistic but practical outlook keeps you determined and on track as you work steadily towards your goal i am confident so a lot of you aries and a higher self you're very focused on your own stability and stuff like that you're not focused on other people's situationships or whatever 
So that's it's intimidated someone who wants to come towards you as well, okay? But they're very, very sexually attracted to you, okay? Yeah, gratitude for my body, yes, okay? Nature's gifts affirmation, okay? So gratitude for my body. I am grateful for the vehicle of this physical body. I have been gifted for one precious lifetime in order to resolve old karma and transcend. Okay, yes. Nature's gift. I am fully present with the natural world and the plants and trees in my environment. I enjoy the energy of the earth. Yes, I is helping you guys. It's beautiful. Okay, all right. So let's see this. Woo. Oh, my incense turned off. Hmm. All right, let's see. Integrity. Yeah, do things with integrity. Justice is on your side, okay? Hamio energy. Uh, do some meditation, okay? Make it a practice to do some meditation because there's a lot of energies around you, so especially if you're building something new. Uh, some of you, maybe you, if you're a new mother, congratulations if you are. Um, others of you, um, if you're birthing something like a baby, uh, your business a baby, you know, your business is your baby or something like that a new adventure a new venture a new thing okay something that you dream of okay something that is gonna bring a lot of stability um a lot of reciprocity something that you will be able to also give to the most need the, the most need to those who are in need okay but yeah there's definitely uh make it a habit like your prayers your meditation okay so to keep yourself uh, balanced from the spirituality and the practicality okay all right, so let's see. All right, and then this message, and then there's this one popping out. All right. Oh, wow, beautiful. So some of you, you're a light worker, or some of you could be dealing with a light worker, okay? So it says, you're a light worker. It is safe for you to be powerful. Your spiritual power brings great blessings in loving service to the divine, okay? Yeah, so this union, whatever situation that you're working on is literally by the divine. It says, ask your ask, okay? So some of you, if you need help for something or you need healing for something or you need some guidance or some confirmation, ask your angels, okay? Um, this really could be a confirmation for you, okay? Ask us to help you in this situation and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. We are governed by many universal laws and among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await your request, okay? Pay yourself first, okay? So it says, make yourself your most important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time you're paid. This loving form of self-care, I can't make this up, Empress is up all about self-care, okay? Taurus energy. Self-care ensures that you will have savings to invest in your present and your future in your future so start paying yourself start saving okay something about financial stability is like gonna be balanced as well okay and that's what i have for you aries i hope this is helpful i'm sending you so much love make sure you like comment and share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next time bye